Top from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to give a quick demonstration of our DaVinci color panel for Loop Deck, and we're just going to do a quick um, secondary color uh, correction operation on uh, this piece of footage. So we have this, uh, this footage of berries here, and what we want to do is target the red, and we're just going to slightly uh, adjust the, um, the red hue using our color panel. So the first thing we want to do is we go into our our main page and we're going to go to qualifier because we want to select uh, the uh, the red the red of the berries so we go to picker and we'll just pick our red here and you can see in our node we can see the uh, uh, change happening but we'll go to highlights here so we can see it more obviously so we can add to it by clicking picker add and add a few more areas now we pick too much now we can go to picker subtract and just take that off. So we're not going to go crazy on fine-tuning it for now for the, this demonstration. But what we can do is we can go one page back and we can, uh, or actually two pages back, excuse me, and we're going to go to blur radius and we want to just soften off our edge that we selected of our selection here, which is good. So now we're going to go into our HSL uh, adjustments here. So you can see we have our our center, our center is pretty good. We can adjust if we wanted to by hitting center and you can see we can uh, move the center of that. But that, that was pretty accurate with the picker. We can adjust the width so we can tighten that up if we wanted, but let's leave it off to include those luminance values. The saturation, we can also move the high point of our saturation uh, and our luminance, high point of our luminance to capture a little more of that in there. And we have access to more of our uh, finesse, matte finesse uh, features there. But let's say we're happy with that and we want to start doing some correction. Let's turn off our highlights and we can move to our main page and we can just do some, uh, let's go into primaries here and let's just swing the hue around a little bit. Let's deepen them into a little more orange. And our color boost, a little strong on the color. A pull back on the color just a little bit. And increase the contrast just a touch. Saturation once again. Take the saturation down. And we're going to look before and after. Now we've made them a little more realistic. Here in the original footage, they were blooming quite a bit. So now we've been able to very quickly just dial that in. Now if you want to make Further adjustments, we're still in the primary here. We can swing over to the next page and we have our wheels available to us. So we can start adjusting uh, individual, the individual parameters in here. So we can go to the gamma wheel and by using both the horizontal and vertical at the same time, we can do some fine tune adjustments of the gamma part of our image. Same thing with gain, go to gain, we can move Again, now we're starting to swing it out from where we want. So let's just pull that back. And we can get into adjusting the, the overall gamma. Swing over to the next page. We have individual color controls that we can start to isolate. So we can affect the uh, gamma red channel. Start pulling that back a bit. The, gain red channel. We can pull that down. Just reduce some of that blooming. And so very quickly, before and after, we can make adjustments bouncing around very quickly with the Loop Tech device. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more, there's a link below the video. You can go to our website and find out all the details about this pack. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series where we use different parts of our color panel to access the various color workspaces within DaVinci to correct images. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.